Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. Hi, how are you? How is it going? I hope you killed it in your business this week. Today's video, y'all, y'all, we are here. We made it. My confidence level is at its peak and we are finally talking about me transitioning over from Trello to Notion. Now, for those of you watching this that haven't made this journey over, who have not seen the light and the possibilities of Notion, I hope I get you there by the end of this video. But I will preface this conversation with saying that it took me months to get to a place in Notion where I was confident in what I had built, that I was regularly using it, and not because the platform is difficult, but I will say as an INTJ, take the Myers-Briggs if you haven't, but I'm an INTJ and through and through, I am just horrible at writing things down. I keep everything in my mind. And so I've never really found a productivity platform that works for me. I've never really had a good note taking system that benefits me, benefits my business. And so when I decided to switch over to Notion, I really wanted to make sure that I was being intentional with how I built it and that it worked for me. And it made me excited to open the page every day and write my tasks down, write my notes down. And I'm really proud of the system that I've built for my business. I haven't really started using it personally, mainly $4.99 in St. Clair but I am gonna walk you through my dashboard for my business, how I built my CRM inside of Notion, how I do client management, how I take notes in every meeting. We're gonna go through the whole thing. So if you're a business owner, smash that like button so the algorithm knows that this Notion video is worth watching, y'all. We are out here, we're doing it, we're on the hustle. And also if that subscribe button down below is still red, I don't know why you haven't subscribed to my channel yet because I post videos every Tuesday and Friday to help you become a better badass business owner. And frankly, you need me in your life just like I need you. So smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and let's get into it. Diving right in, this is my Notion dashboard. And so for me, I pretty much live in the 99 and St. Clair dashboard. And so everything you see on this page, for instance, under my directory, is all sub pages of this category, which is really exciting. So the biggest thing that I struggled with was random thoughts that came through my mind throughout the day. And one, one person that I follow that is also a heavy Notion user is Thomas Frank. He is the owner of College Info Geek, and he actually created a template for inbox notes. Now, for those of you who do heavy creative work or you do heavy focus, deep focus work like I do, having somewhere where you can just kind of dump um, ideas and notes into and then get right back to what you're doing is really important for me. And so what I've done is I've created the 99 sandbox, which I can also access from my cell phone in the Notion app. I can basically leave notes in there for myself of, hey, I need to do this or, hey, I have this thought. So for instance, I recently changed my email over and so I made a note today that I absolutely need to change my login for OMA, which is a marketing program I'm taking. But other things, I have notes like add questions to discovery calls. So I can open this page and as you can see, I have questions that I want to add to make my discovery calls better. And then from there, I can list those notes as urgent or open whether they're pro what level of priority, and then I can see how long they've been sitting in the inbox. And then from there, moving down into my dashboard, I then have kind of my hub for everything else. Now, the current client roster, so this is linked, however, to my entire 99 and St. Clair CRM, which I will show you here in a little bit, but how I have it filtered is just to see projects that are currently in progress. And so instead of getting bogged down with hundreds and hundreds of clients, I can quickly see which clients are in progress, right? So now under the director, we have different lists of things such as my design like a badass course. We have the strategic hustlers club, which is my Facebook group. Y'all are in here. What's up? We also have our partners and affiliate links. So I'm not going to show you the first two pages because there are certain names in there that I want to keep hidden um, just for privacy. But if we go into my partners and affiliate pages, 
This is my affiliates roster. So this is now another database that I can link anywhere I need to that hosts who I'm affiliate partner with, what my affiliate link is, any promo details. So for instance, with Square, if I refer anyone to Square, they get $1,000 of free processing. And then what do I get, right? So is is any of these affiliates worth pushing? That's usually why I push things like FreshBooks or Squarespace because those are the ones that I make the most money on. Like I said, that is a sub page that I keep there for quick reference. And then we go under resources. So the, these are sub pages I've created such as notes from courses I'm taking or books, notes on books that I've read. Now the next thing that is really important for me, these are pretty big pages, and this is again just a table, but it's in a gallery view. So I've added some fun photos for this quarter to just kind of get in the festive mood, if you will. So if we pop into October, we'll open this as a page. This is my monthly planning workshop page, right? So this page really highlights all of my current projects in progress that are happening during this month. Now, um, going back down, this is also a link back to that sandbox, just in case I have a day, which we'll go over in a second, that I maybe wanna go through this list and see what is worth it. Now, the next portion of my monthly page is the CEO schedule. And this is, this is really the meat and potatoes of what I was trying to create in Notion that I couldn't seem to really create the way that I wanted to inside Trello. And yes, this absolutely is a Kanban, which is Trello, but there's some things that you can do such as linking databases, etc. And what I really wanted to do here is map out my monthly calendar. And so as you can see on the front of the card, we have the date, we have what level of energy that day is, and then we have our main goal for the day. And it's really important for me that I notice when I have highs and lows in my schedule, right? Usually when I have days that are very heavy call days, like coaching calls, um, meeting calls with clients, those are usually high energy days. And I try to only do those calls in those days because they sometimes usually drain me, right? Calls are very draining and they require a lot of attention and a lot of energy. And so as you can see, for instance, you can click all of these open and these are then sub pages. So as you can see on here, we have the date, we have our focus area. So I do have a scheduled day for each kind of bucket within my business. And so on Wednesdays, I try to develop content, film, edit, repurpose, etc. And then I list my, my energy level. I do have a goal for the day. So because I had pre-filmed content last week, my goal for the day was actually a day rate design for self-defined. And then from there, we have a template. Now, this is a micro ambition list, meetings and quick links to social media tasks. So under micro ambition, because I only had one thing for the day, I just listed under goal. But let's say I have three things that I need to do today. So we would say finish, finish design for SD, and then let's say edit, edit Friday's video. And then lastly, we have maybe check email. Or let's say, let's say check social media engagement, okay? Because this is a content day. So all of those things, these are the three main tasks that I want to finish. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't have meetings. Again, this is a template. So this is the same template that we'll see every single day. But as you'll notice under templates here, I have a specific planner per day that lists out um, the day, the energy level, the content focus, etc. So as I'm here on Mondays, really planning my week, I can look across the board and say, okay, I'm going to have a really high energy level this week. I need to make sure that I get new, get, I get more sleep, that I'm really just focusing on exactly what I need to. I'm not adding more to my plate and I can plan things out from there. So, and then as you can see from October 26th to the 28th, I'm on vacation, and so I say my energy level at work is low because I'm actually out of office. So you can also add little things like that, and you'll notice that I didn't add any page templates here, but if I wanted to, this is a Wednesday, and we'll just click Wednesday, it'll load, and that entire template will then show up. And then the last thing on my monthly planner is the client task list. Now this is a master database that I've created that every time I onboard a client 
from their contract, I add in all of their milestone due dates into this task list. So this is a relational database, which means anything that I add into this database then links back to Coolacare. And as you can see, all of these related links here under Coolacare's project, this lists out, okay, this is related to this database. So I can see exactly where Coolacare is listed throughout my entire Notion account. I can see on which days under my CEO schedule that I, and actually let me open this so you can see the full thing. Um, so this will show me exactly on what day I worked on her projects. And this is obviously Monday through Friday. And then additionally, you can see under what month this was focused on. So that is my biggest piece of Notion that I use, but I also want to go into content development. So this is the second dashboard that I have built in Notion, and it is my content and marketing dashboard. Now, I am still building this out, full transparency, haven't really gotten down to how I wanna showcase analytics and kind of looking at my growth yet, just because there are so many platforms. But as you can see, you I have a content sandbox, which again is that inbox for note taking. And so any ideas I have for content, quick video ideas. So let's say we have a video idea and we'll say show notion, right? So now that creates in my sandbox, that creates a new note here. So then I can say, okay, I want to maybe do a Notion video in, let's say, Tuesday, October 27th. So I can literally pull this idea from this database down to my calendar for content planning. And we'll get there in a second. So you have this really cool inbox that really like holds on to all of your ideas. And then from there, I have my Q4 OKRs and KPIs. So my goal this quarter is to reach a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that red button, smash the like button on any video that I post because we want the algorithm to know what is going on on my channel. And then the next thing is that I have a goal of 50 signups just this quarter alone for the DLab free mini challenge. And so from here, my goal is to create another table that just kind of shows what my goal is, what my progress is, and how much more I have to go. But also my goal is to then create a relational database to link into what marketing efforts that I'm pushing those goals towards. So then from there, we have our analytics reports, and this is something I was playing around with for a while. And basically, this is a template that I can then reflect on my content and say, okay, what were my goals for this period? Um, what, what went well? What posts didn't perform well? Which posts had the most website clicks? Those kind of things. So it is my goal to to do that analytic report once a month, but as you can see, I'm not I'm not super set on the setup, so I haven't honestly touched it. And then briefly, we have resources. So my YouTube video description, I have a quick page that shows everything that goes into my YouTube description. And so every video, I copy and paste this and just update it as need be. We have things like our content buckets, a link to the partners and affiliate pages, sponsor scripts if I'm required to have them, um, under sponsor scripts, and I'm trying to work on kind of the same script for the same, you know, FreshBooks versus Squarespace and just read from there on video, but that is where that lives. And then we have additional links. So my buy me a coffee profile. So I have quick links to other things like that. And then we scroll down to our content planning. Now, again, this is a dashboard. So I'm going to show you, I have it set up to see calendar view so I can kind of see which videos are upcoming. And under that, that is another template. So every video gets the same page. So I can post my SEO title, what progress we are under. So obviously we posted this monitor. So we will say it's under analytic watch now. We can list our sponsor, what number of video it is. Now, and then additionally under the video template, I have things like video meta, I have quick resources. Um, this Write Better Headline Analyzer is amazing under co-schedule. It literally ranks your YouTube title and tells you if it's going to rank well. So I have little links like that there that I can just easily reference instead of bookmarking and having my Chrome all bogged down. And then additionally, we have things like our video scripts. So sometimes on videos, if it's, if it's less vlog and more walkthrough, something like this, 
I will actually list out by section the video script. So I have bullets to kind of read off of and make sure that I don't forget something or, excuse me, or, you know, just really if I don't forget to, you know, mention the sponsor or tell people to hit subscribe button, I will literally list all of that out. So then if we go back, however, like I mentioned, this is a calendar. So if we go to this view, you can actually go to a table view, and this is every idea for content that I've ever had. So this is a massive database. Um, it definitely needs to get cleaned out, but anytime I have an idea, I can just pop it in here and say, okay, I want to build a website in a weekend. Let's do a three-day mini training, or let's talk about three ways to create healthy barriers in your business. So those are things that I've thought about doing that I can absolutely reference back when maybe I don't have a video idea or a blog idea. I kind of just keep everything here. But for the most part, I keep everything on calendar view so I know what's working, what's not. And we can actually even filter this further where we can say, we want to filter, or not filter, sorry. We want to focus on which property, so we can put progress under here. We can list, we can list things like who's our sponsor or our video number. So as you can see under Lenovo, it now says that I've posted it. However, my Notion setup under progress, we should say we are currently filming. So now it'll show me that I'm filming, and oops, it's Wednesday. I need to get this video done. So it's a nice viewpoint to see, okay, this is what I'm working on, this is what I'm not, to then build out my days and really focus on different pieces of my business as they come. So hopefully that video was intuitive and insightful for you guys because I definitely still feel very much like a Notion novice, but I've thoroughly enjoyed using Notion and yeah, there's just so many possibilities. So if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and I will see you on Tuesday in our next video. Have an amazing rest of your week. Bye guys.